Hi, Leo. It's thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well as we head into the winter solstice here in the Northern Hemisphere. And so let's take a look at the cards for the week. This reading will be good for any sun, moon, or rising Leo sign. Uh, for this reading, I look at the awareness for the week, guidance and possible outcomes, and I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and begin your reading. Wow, so very interesting. So we have, we have Prudence, the 21st card of the major trumps or the major arcana. We have the King of Cups and we have the Ace of Wands. So Prudence represents really the the beauty and the culmination of of being enlightened of feeling content from perhaps absorbing all of the lessons along your journey of what you've been trying to build or create within your life and prudence is what uh, plato may describe i think if i'm getting this right as the fourth virtue and it really is it's the um, it's the mystical element of the soul of the world. So this deck deals with the, the souls that make up people. As um, you know, each person has three souls, the appetite, the will, and reason. And then ultimately we get to prudence. And prudence is the culmination. It's the all the souls, the fourth virtue is, is to have prudence. And so she's beautiful. She's here without clothes and it's a form of beauty. And at the time where these paintings take place, it's the beauty of not having clothes. And, and uh, I suppose the natural elegance and the natural be beauty of one's self. The world, how it relates in a daily reading, it's the, again, enlightenment, fulfillment, and contentment because you have reached the epitome of what you've hoped to reach. And it's a cycle, it's a journey, it's a path. And it's about really what you bring to the world and what you give to the world. And so you, and what you take from the world, I suppose, as, as well. So for many, perhaps this end of the year brings closure to some aspects of your life, um, projects, and this is the time to reflect and to enjoy and to feel the beautiful spirit of, you know, of what it feels like to connect and to, um, to be enlightened, to be illuminated, to feel happy from what you've gained along the way. So then we have the King of Cups and the King of Cups has his heart above his cup. Very sweet. Uh, this is a card of, of an energy of someone who is emotionally tranquil, calm, collected, reasonable, loving, and caring of bringing, uh, softness and tenderness and gentleness to others and to relationships. So as the world spins and as things happen and as our emotional temperament flares in either direction, the King of Cups is a wonderful reminder to, um, to stay calm, to listen to be sensitive to others' opinions, to take them all in. And so uh, his success and his stature in society is based on having many years of experience of knowing how to be emotionally aware and present and responds in such a way. So for practical advice, 
is to uh, maintain control of your emotional ship. If things start to spin or if the waves get rough, try to be the emotional center of a situation. And then as another piece I would say to that is also is to express emotions because to share how you really feel is significant and people remember that and people know. So don't be afraid as you see people that you haven't seen over the holiday season, old friends, family, whomever, is to tell them how you feel. And then finally we have the Ace of Wands. And the Ace of Wands, you see the flame on top of the wand. And the flame is the power and the passion of our life. And it is the universe's way of, of reaching out to you to say, why are you waiting? Take this wand, I'm giving it to you, and go out and create, build, be inspired, and bring your light, which comes from your passions inside, bring them out. And you know, move forward toward them, take action. Any day is a great day to start something new. Any day is a great day to learn, to bring in new knowledge. So for your passions, maybe you have to study, maybe you have to, um, you know, make calls, join a club, write a check, but it's the inspiration and it's the ideas and it's the, uh, the, the feeling within and maybe it's rest, restful, uh, you're feeling restless, I think that's what I'm trying to say, and that you feel that you have to do something and this is what this Ace of Wands is all about. Now I'm not certain, I'd have to go through and count, but I believe that there are 21 little flames. And the 21 also plays into the, the threes and the sevens of this deck. So interesting day and particularly having prudence and prudence can also, although it's not written here, is also known to be, I believe, um, Sophia, Sophie, yes, yeah, Sophia, faith, hope, and charity. So let's, um, Oh, I, hold on one moment. I don't have an Oracle deck. One moment. Okay. So while I'm shuffling the Oracle deck, let's take a look at the numbers. We have 21, 22, and 23. And that um, uh, reduces to five. And five is about challenges. It's about adaptability. Being flexible uh, can be about a new cycle as well. And so let's let's choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. The divine physician, Archangel Raphael. Thank you, Raphael, for shining your divine light upon my healthy body. So lovely idea of honoring your, your physical self um, and being mindful and perhaps sending intentions to stay healthy because that's really one of the most important things in life is to be healthy and everything else will fall from there, will you know, be directed after that. So friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. Have a wonderful Friday, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.